Hi guys, Micro here. This is my free-to-play money-making guide for low-level smithing. And when I say low-level smithing, I mean low-level smithing. I'm going to showcase two methods in this video, and these methods are 1 to 1.8 million GP an hour for free-to-play, which is insane. So let's get right into it. First of all, like always, what are the requirements? The requirements are 27 smithing. You need 20 smithing to work with steel, but you need 27 to proc additional bars when smelting steel. So I would say the requirement would be 27 smithing for the additional procs to get this GP. You can do it at 20 smithing, but you won't make as much money. Now into the first method. If you click on a furnace and you open up your ore bank, you can deposit the ores that you have in your inventory if they're noted. You click that deposit button on the bottom left. I deposited all of my iron, all of my coal, and I'm going to make steel bars. All you got to do is press begin project or press space and you make 28 bars per inventory. Because we are free to play, we haven't got smelting gauntlets, which would be super helpful from Family Crest. With these, you make 60 at once and it automatically deposits them in the bank. Whereas we can only make 28 to fill up our inventory, then we either right click the furnace, deposit the ores, or deposit the ores through the smelting interface with that button at the bottom left. Once you deposit the ores, you just make another inventory and you do this over and over and over again. You make 28, deposit them, make 28, deposit them, and keep repeating that for the whole hour. A downside to this is it's literally no experience. Neither of these methods make much XP an hour, so you're looking at like 5 to 6k. There we go, coming to the end of our hour now. Time to stop the stopwatch, see how many bars we made, and just see the profit. That was a lot of steel bars made, 2,076 which sold at 965 GP each and the ores cost just over 500 GP each. That is some really good profit there, let's go into a profit breakdown then. Looking at the GP breakdown of the steel bars, the coal and the iron ore were 528 GP. The steel bar made from these was 965 GP. That means the profit per bar was 437 without any additional makes. I made 1,882 bars in an hour with 196 extra makes, which was that 2,076. Judging by how much the coal and the iron ore cost and how much I made from the steel bars, I made a total of 1,009,644 GP. So that is pretty much 1 million GP an hour just smelting steel bars. That's pretty damn insane. And like I said, it's semi-AFK and free to play. But we have another method to cover that's a bit less AFK but a bit more money. So let's check that out. The next method is found at a furnace in the smelting interface again, but we're not making bars this time. If you scroll down the left hand side, if you have still bars, you can click that still bar icon and it comes up with another interface. On this interface, you can make still ingots. These still ingots cost five still bars and they sell pretty damn well. The reason why these ingots sell so well is because they used to make still titan pouches, which is one of the best familiars in the game. These don't give much XP at all, and they're only really good for free-to-play money making, so not that many people do them. So it consistently keeps them quite a high price. The downside to this method is it's less AFK than making the bars because you can't deposit these ingots in the furnace. You have to run over to the bank in the artisan's workshop, then back to the furnace and repeat the process. If you run to the bank, you can press number three, and that is a key bind to instantly deposit everything in your inventory. Once you've done that at the bank, you just run back to the furnace and smelt them again. I had 2,000 bars, and it took me just under 20 minutes to make these 2,000 bars into ingots. So let's sell these ingots and just see how much GP this is. All of my steel ingots sold just under mid at 6,300 GP each. If you take a look at my Grand Exchange histories, I instantly sold 95 of them at 6,300 each. So I just stuck the rest in at 6,300 and they sold within like a minute and a half. Looking at the GP breakdown of these ingots, it's absolutely amazing and better than I could have expected. Five steel bars for an ingot is 4,825 GP. A steel ingot itself is 6,300 GP. 
That means the profit per bar is 1,475 GP each. The ingots that I could make in an hour is 1,230 with minimal AFK. The total GP an hour for this with that high profit margins making 1,230 an hour would be 1.8 million GP. 1.8 mil GP an hour for free to play at level 20 Smithin? It's just insane, absolutely nuts, and very, very useful if people are looking for a bond or something. Like I said, this is less AFK than bars because you have to run to the bank and stuff, but it's still free to play and it's still insane. But that will be it for this episode. Hopefully this was helpful to anyone who's trying to strive for a bond or make some money in free to play. Do give the video a like if you did enjoy it, and until next time, see ya.